What's up guys? Today I want to confess some things that motivational speakers are not supposed to admit. Our story begins a couple years ago. One of my good friends was struggling with some emotional problems and so he started going to see a therapist. And my friend told his therapist about me and gave him a copy of my book. The therapist then read my book and sent me an email and said, hey, I loved your book. Would you like to get coffee? And I was thinking this is amazing because this therapist has spent probably six hours reading my entire life story and now he wants to go to coffee, which will probably be another hour or so. So essentially, I am getting seven hours of free therapy. Like, let's say he charges $100 an hour, that's $700 of free therapy. I don't even have to tell him my backstory because he's already read everything about my childhood in my book. The therapist's name is Dale, and so Dale and I had coffee, and we were talking about our lives, and I was sharing some of my struggles at the time. And at one point in the conversation, I asked him, you know, based on what I'm telling you about these problems that I have, do you think that I would benefit from professional therapy? And I realized later that that was kind of a ridiculously stupid question, right? Because asking a therapist if you would benefit from therapy is like asking Al Gore if you should recycle. Now this was the time in my life when I was coming to terms with my adrenal gland problems and Dale helped me to accept the new limitations that I have in my life. Now I know that a lot of people when you look at a motivational speaker you assume that he or she must have it all together. And in many ways motivational speaking is the exact opposite of going to professional psychotherapy. Because when you give a motivational speech you are getting paid to talk about problems that you have overcome. When you go to therapy you are paying to talk about problems that you cannot figure out how to overcome. Now, certainly there are plenty of motivational speakers and self-help gurus out there who want to make it seem as if they have their life all perfectly together. But I want to be honest with you in this vlog and let you know that there have been multiple times in my life when I have had to seek professional help from a therapist to deal with what's going on in my head. I know from the comments I see from you guys that many of you struggle with depression, with self-esteem, with cutting, with problems in your family or in your interpersonal relationships. You would benefit greatly from having a professional to talk to. Most of you who watch me are in school. There is a counselor at your school that you can go see for free. And if you're in college, there's probably a student mental health center where you can go and get help for free. So that's my message to you. If you know that you need help, then go get the help that you need. Thanks for watching, we should hang out sometime. Please subscribe for a new video from me every Tuesday.